This week actually marks my 20th birthday, a big milestone and something which I've been thinking about for a while. And as I turn 20, I've got to ask myself more and more questions, one of which being where I actually want to go in life. Especially related to business, this is something that I've been really contemplating in the last couple of weeks, especially as my eBay store has continued to grow. I've been asking myself what I see myself doing and where I want to be. So I've started to establish some goals. I've decided that by at least 27, I want to have £100,000 in cash or assets. £100,000, that's actually mine. I want to do this ideally by 25, but 27 is the furthest away that I want to see this happen. So then you've got to ask yourself how this is actually going to work and that's what I want to be discussing in this video because I actually do have in my opinion a solid plan to get myself to that 100k mark. I think it is something that realistically anybody can follow. So let's get into the plan. So going from 0 to 100k will seem like a huge milestone and to some it may even seem impossible especially at such a young age but I think it is something that really is something that I can achieve. Before I was even 18, I had more than £20,000. Admittedly though, I have spent some of that, lost some of that with bad investments and financial choices, but I know how fast money can come in if you have the right business models. And that's why I've started to develop a true and steadfast plan as to how I can gain myself £100,000 worth of actual cash or assets in the next couple of years. So let's start off with where I'm working with right now. In actual transferable usable cash that I can can a transfer from assets into cash or actual cash that I can simply spend right now I probably have between say seven and fifteen thousand pounds now that might seem like a bit of a discrepancy but it depends on a few things especially with how much money I'm investing into the business at the moment like all of these assets behind me you could classify them as assets or liabilities depending on how you look at it however I kind of count these watches as something which I can turn into cash as once they all sell they will obviously turn into cash and we're talking about assets like that you know, that's where I get that figure from. So actual cash I have right now is probably close to about £10,000. And when we talk about easily convertible assets, if I was to choose to do that, we're looking again closer to the £15,000 mark. So 15k is not a bad starting point to be honest. It leaves us with some money off our milestone as we now have to collect even less but obviously we still have the majority of that goal to hit up. So how are we going to do this? Well I would say we need to have a certain amount of money coming in every single month and a few channels to do that. So my first channel as many of you guys will know is eBay. I've been selling stuff on eBay for about four or five months now and I've been able to build this business to a point where it is doing quite well. So in the month of June it's looking like we're going to make around or just under it's probably going to be slightly under £2,000 in June and we're estimating that this business is going to double in the next month because it doubled last month and it tripled the month before that. It's not a case of I believe it's gonna double for no reason. It's a case of if I keep uploading new items every day and keep growing my account, it is probably going to double next month. So if we double where we're at at the moment, we're looking at between, I would say, 3,000, maybe six, 7,000, in actual profit next month, which is obviously brilliant. So even at that 3,000 mark, which is something that really is achievable, that's only a 50% increase or less, when we get to that point, that's a nice amount of money coming in. That'd be about £36,000 a year, I believe it is. So that is obviously going to help us get there quite quickly. But as you guys will know, I always say on this channel, a job is not enough. One source of income is not enough because whilst 36k is obviously a lot of money, I've then got to pay tax on that. That's a certain percentage gone. And let's be honest, as much as we can talk about financial responsibility, there are things that I A, want and B, need. I've got to pay for food. I've got to pay for other essentials, basically clothing. And obviously there are things that you want and there's nothing wrong with that. If I want to spend a couple of hundred pounds on a certain item, I am going to do that and I'm not going to feel bad. So we're not going to even account for most of that 30k. We're going to say that 20k is going to be money that we can realistically save because remember, I'm a student anyway, we're talking student loans and we don't really classify that debt into our actual or my actual money at the moment because it's not something that I have to immediately pay back and I'm not too worried about it. So actual cash on hand, that could bring us up to 35k next year. because remember we've got between 10 and 15 already and adding an extra 20 to that next year will bring us between 30 and 35k which is obviously a brilliant amount to face at 21 years old but like I just said that's not going to be enough which is why in the past couple of days I've opened up new sales channels because one business and one stream of income is not enough to get me to that goal 
As much as we can say 25, the sooner the better. It'd be better if it was 21. In fact, it would be better if it was tomorrow. But we all know we're not going to win the lottery. So what we can do is work on realistic and safe businesses. So I'm going to be starting up, well, I am starting up now on Amazon, on Facebook Marketplace, on Depop and on Etsy. Now, I cannot guarantee that these businesses are going to garner the same success. Actually, I would only estimate that the Amazon one is the only thing that could come near to it. Because I just don't believe that places like Facebook Marketplace and Etsy have a similar demand or at least something that I can tap into at the moment. I'm also going to be selling used clothes on sites like Depop, like I said, maybe Vinted as well, which is brilliant. And that will also help me to get some extra cash in. So in the next year, and I'm not really bothered about that time scale. somewhere in the next 12 months, I'm looking to scale up an Amazon business like I've been able to scale up this eBay business. So we're looking to get, you know, realistically to a point where we're making 10 grand a month in revenue, and we need our profit margins to be between 20 and 40% on that business too, or more. So 20% of the 10 grand would be 2000 in a month. And obviously at the high end, 40, that would obviously be about 4000 in a month on 10,000 worth of revenue, which is good. And it's similar to what we're dealing with with eBay. So that's what we're aiming for over there. But we're not even started yet. I've literally not even been approved to sell on Amazon to begin with, but I have got the papers here to do so. And I assume that I will be approved in the next couple of days. So once that business starts rolling, I think we should expect similar results, but I'm not necessarily expecting that is going to be an immediate plan to success because we can't guarantee it because we don't have anything in the past to go off. But even assuming that the eBay business only doubles in the next year, that's getting us to a point where we're going to be seeing £4,000 a month in actual profit. And that would be about £48,000 a year coming in. So obviously that would be halfway towards our goal of the 100k almost in just a single year. Now, even if we got to that point, like I said, we're going to take away between 10 and 20,000 on expenses and just live in life because that's just how it works. So if I can get to 30 or 40,000 in the next year or two, we really are on track because once we get more and more money, options open up because right now I have certain business plans which I'd love to explore and I know will work, but I'm just struggling to have the time and resources to do so. Obviously, on top of that, I cannot forget about YouTube, as YouTube has in the past and will hopefully continue to be a good source of income for me. Now, this is not my only YouTube channel. I've got several others, one of which has made me over £10,000 in actual cash in the past. And that is just from the ads on that channel. So if we were to do the same over here on this channel, that would be a brilliant thing. So I do think that realistically, I could grow this YouTube channel to between one and two thousand pounds of profit per month in the next year or two, which would be another great source of income. So if I was able to grow the eBay to four thousand a month, able to grow the YouTube to one to two thousand a month, that would obviously be about, you know, between five and six thousand a month, which is obviously a great thing. On top of that, if we were to able to even get the Amazon up to say 2,000 a month, that would be that on top of the previous figures added, which would be around or coming near to 10,000 a month, which is a great point to be. Then we have the topic of actually investing. Right now in the stock market, so many stocks are somewhat undervalued because you have to remember that since about 2021, markets have been dropping and dropping and dropping. Now I have been invested since 2020 in some assets, so I have unfortunately lost some money on certain stocks. However, this doesn't mean that now is not the opportunity for me to capitalize on buying the dip, especially as I get more and more cash. Because we all know that once you actually have cash, it's never a good thing to keep it in cash. Cash loses value. So I have to transfer that into other businesses or other investments. The stock market is a great way to diversify because it is just like owning another piece of somebody else's business where you don't have to do any of the work. All you do is provide the money. Whilst I can't really guarantee a certain return on the stock market and anybody who says that they can is quite foolish, if I can catch the lower parts of where we're at now, that would be another decent amount if I invested a certain amount into the markets. But that is a bit clouded and somewhat shrouded in secrecy because we just don't know how much money I can get into the markets in what sort of a time frame, and we don't know what kind of returns we can realistically expect. But that would be another way to increase the money with a little amount of efforts. As I just said, I have previous YouTube channels, which I have worked on in the past. Some of these have millions of views. And like I said, one of them has made well over £10,000 in actual profit. The thing is, though, I don't do those videos anymore. And I don't work on that channel anymore, which may seem a bit foolish. But the simple reason for that is because A, I don't have the time and B, I could be working on something better. Because whilst YouTube is fun, which is why I like to film on this channel, for that channel, it's a case of you make one video, it may or may not do as well as it used 
used to. And for the amount of money that it makes at this point right now, I could probably just upload five items on eBay in that time and make more money. So it just makes more sense to focus on another business. But if I was making enough, I could pay somebody to make videos for that channel, which would A, save me time and B, allowed me to build revenue again on that channel because I know that there is still an audience. I'd be able to build revenue again, which would obviously make that an additional stream of income. And as I said just a couple of videos ago, I do have a couple of new business ideas that I am working on and developing because as you guys will probably know by now, I like to test everything out and strategize it very well before I even think about creating a business around that topic because otherwise I'd be wasting too much of my time and effort trying to create that business in the first place. So right now I'm at a point where I'm making between about two and three, maybe four, sometimes thousand a month. Next month that could be going up to a consistent three to four thousand a month or maybe even more and if we can keep scaling the ebay business then that could be something which we see continue on top of that i'm starting on amazon and that is obviously going to be a massive sales channel and something which i think can work if i find the correct products which is what i'm going to be working on in the first initial months but two businesses doing between two and four thousand each per month would leave me between four and eight thousand a month now four thousand a month is about 48k a year obviously with taxes not included. And when you come up to that 8,000 pot, that, that basically speaks for itself. So I think this is a realistic plan. I think it is something which many people can follow. It's about finding a business that you know works for you, sticking with that and scaling it, and obviously diversifying your income streams. So I aim to do this in multiple ways, as I hopefully outlined in this video, and this plan is going to develop over time and change as market circumstances and my life circumstances turn and evolve, because I may actually find something that makes even more profit than the businesses I've outlined in this video. But that's where I aim to be going in the next couple of years, and I I think that will help me to get to 100k before 25 because if I was making even 30k at age 20 that's not bad and you know when you get up the numbers 40k 50k that is really good and it wouldn't be long before I would be able to minimize my costs live in a bit of a broke lifestyle for a year or two and maximize my actual income and once you get to that 100k mark in my opinion that's when things will start to change because the amount of things you can invest in and the returns you can get are so much better just imagine you have a hundred pounds and you make a 10 percent return you've only made one pound if you have a hundred thousand pounds and you make a one percent return you make a thousand pounds in actual profit and that's the thing once you have more money it's easier to make more money that's something that i've learned over the years and that's hopefully not going to change anyway thank you for joining me on this video hopefully it helped you guys and inspired you guys to see where you could be going in the future i hope to see you all soon goodbye